Hey guys, welcome to your 8th C Sharp tutorial and in this tutorial we will be talking about repetition, um, iteration, or looping control structures. It means the same thing. Um, again, the technical term is iteration, but most people either call it rep uh, repetition or looping is actually the most common type. Um, and I, I'm going to keep this list of the different the four different types up here just so I can keep it as a checklist for myself and so you can know the technical term of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and then start with precondition looping which is um, you use a while statement actually I need to declare a variable here first int x equals um, let's do zero okay while x is less than five x plus plus and I, I'm actually going to do more than one line of code so like I told you last time if you want to do more than one line in a loop you got to use your curly braces console dot right line x um, <clears throat> excuse me now what this is going to do is while x is less than 5 it's going to go through these codes it literally does what it says while x is less than 5 it's going to add one to x and then print it out. And I actually want it to print out before it adds it. Shoot. Okay. Oh man, what did I do? Cut. Paste. Okay. It's going to add one to x after printing it out. So first it should go zero, add one, so then x is one. X is still less than five because it's one. And then it's going to print out 1, then it's going to add 1, it'll be 2, 2 is less than 5, so then it'll print out 2, make it 3, 3 is less than 5, print out 3, make it 4, 4 is less than 5, print out 4, and then it'll make it 5, and then once it gets up here I'll say 5 is less than 5, uh-uh, let's go back out of this loop, so then we'll do a console.readline, um, okay, and then I'll put just one more console.writeline just for the heck of it, just so I, you can see the final product, x. Okay. So this should print out 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5. 4 and 5, sorry. Um, so let's see. Oh, I forgot 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So now if I made this 2, what do you think it's going to do? 2, 3, 4, 5. And you are correct. 2, 3, 4, 5. That is precondition looping. Now let me type some code for postcondition looping. And it's exactly the same thing, except there's one little trick. And for postcondition looping, I'm pretty darn sure that you have, you like, you absolutely have to have curly braces no matter what. Um, well, y is less than five. Okay, that's not supposed to say yield. Why? <sighs> No, stop it. Okay. And let's do int y equals 1. Now let's just do 0. Okay. And then we'll do a console.writeline again, just so we can see what's happening as it happens. And then do y. Okay. So, for the Pre this one's precondition, and this one's postcondition. Um, the main thing with these is that when you're doing a precondition, it goes for before it does anything. It checks to make sure that your x value is that this is true, which it is right now because zero is less than five, so it comes out to be true. It's another one of those boolean things that's coming back. Um, so x is less than five, so then it'll go through. But the thing with the do while is that it always goes through at least one time. It a do while statement. What is this telling me? Why is that doing that? I don't know. A do while statement runs at least one time because it'll go through. It'll say, okay, so I'm going to do this, and then even if we made x equal to six, it'll say x equals six. So I'm going to do this. And it'll get down here and says six is less than five. Nope. So then it'll go through and say, okay, console.readline. So a do while statement goes through at least once. Now you're thinking, well, why would I want to use a do while while um, instead of a while statement? Because 
it does the exact same thing except it goes through at least one time. Well, um, I do believe that ATMs, the code inside an ATM machine, is uses do while instead of while because it needs to go through at least one time, otherwise no one's going to be able to get their money. So that's a good um, way to use a do while, and there are several other um, times when you might want to use a do while. Can't really think of any off my off the top of my head, but I have used them before, and they are definitely useful when you need them. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, I'm thinking I need a semicolon here. Mm -hmm. This is another thing. If any of you guys are learning this after coming out of like Java or C or C++, I do I know that in Java you don't need a semicolon after this, but in C or C++ you might, so it might be kind of similar to you, but I'm pretty sure in Java you don't need a semicolon after the do while statement. So, let's go ahead and run it again. Okay, so it prints out x equals zero, zero. so then it's going to print it out, make it one, go through, again, like I said before, so zero, one, two, three, four, five. And then here, see, it does the, the reason it didn't go to five is because it says do. Okay, so it's going to print out zero, make it one. So it goes to one first, and then one is less than five. Let's go through, print it out one, two, two is less than five, go through three, uh, two, three, and then three is less than five. Let's go through again, print out three, make it four. Four is less than five. Let's print out it again. So then it prints out four when it goes back through. And then it says five. And then it gets here and it says five is less than five. No. So then, it, instead of printing out the exact same thing as the while, the do while prints out one number less because it checks to see whether it's less than 5 after it's already made the number 5. So, that's why it does that. Actually, no, that's wrong. I added this in here, which is why it does it. So in this particular case, the while statement and the do while would do the exact same thing. I just lied to you regard what I just said for the past like 30 or 45 seconds. Um, so that's why that does that. Now the most common looping that I honestly use is the fixed uh, fixed iteration. Fixed repetition, fixed iteration, fixed looping, whatever. It's actually called loops. Really fixed iteration is the only thing you really refer to as a loop per se because it, it is a serious loop in the fact that you you can't control how much it is after it's already started so the main thing about this is that I'll, if you actually take a computer science class they usually teach you that you should declare all of your your um, accumulator it was what this called because every time you go through the loop let me go ahead and finish writing this code and then explain it console dot right line let's just print out x that's simple enough okay so it's gonna say okay so x equals one let's go ahead and print out console dot right line x it's gonna print out one then when it's done with this whole for statement it will add one to x and then it'll it th it only goes through this code one time this is called an accumulator in x is your accumulator because it accumulates a value that it compares this so then x equals 2, and it'll go through and say, okay, 2 is still less than or equal to 5. And then it'll print out 2. Then it'll add 1 to it, say, okay, now it's 3. Go through the loop again. Um, 3 is still less than or equal to 5. So let's go ahead and print out console.writeLine x. So it's going to print out 3. Then it'll make it 4 because it's doing x plus plus. Go through and say, okay, 4 is still less than or equal to 5. Um, let me go ahead and be um, consistent. Um, and it'll say 4 is still less than or equal to 5, so let's print out the 4. So then it'll add 1 to 4 and say 5. Okay, now 5 is not less than 5, so let's skip out and do this console.readLine thing here. So let's see what happens when I compile this, and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, because it starts with 1 and ends with 4. Now, if I, and then another way I can do this, let's make this like 10 this time. Okay, so you can actually make this and uh, x plus equals 2. So then it'll add 2 every time instead of just 1, and it'll skip every other number. So then it'll do 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, which is nifty depending on what you need to use it for. You might be like, well, if it's an accumulator, I don't need that. But if you're doing graphics or something, then you might want some 
object to move a certain amount of pixels, and if you want it to move faster than just one pixel for every sec a millisecond or whatever, then that is a very good way to have it do that. Um, so there's that. And again, if you want to do more than line, one line of code inside of your for statement, you have to use your little curly braces there. And so I could actually print this out two or three times now and just show you how that works. Okay. So one 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 three 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 five five oh seven 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 five nine nine nine. Okay. Now I can actually compare x to another number. Let's do x is less than fifteen. Okay. So or y equals fifteen. I'm sorry. Um. So now for x equals one, int x equals one. It's declaring it x equals one. Now, while x is less than y, which is 15, it's going to print these lines and then add 2 every time it does that. So, it's going to go and do the 1, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3, 5, 5, 5, 7, 7, 7, 9, 9, 9, 11, 11, 11, and 13, 13, 13. Because that's what I told it to do. Um, I think that's just about it on the fixed repetition. If you really need to watch the video again, go ahead, because... Um, repetition, iteration, looping, whatever you want to call it, is probably even more important than those if statements that I taught you last time. I'm not really sure. It kind of depends on what you're going to use them for. But you definitely need to know all six of your different types of um, control structures. And I'm going to teach you the seventh one along with the arrays. And the array loop really isn't much different then the for loop, it's very similar, but there are certain aspects of it that would make it confusing to teach without you knowing what an array is quite yet. So um, that's going to come later. And uh, so next time, I'm not sure what I'm going to teach you. i got to make a lesson plan, so I'll see you then.